The stars are so far away and the solar system is moving through the galaxy along with the other stars and the apparent movement between stars is so small that they appear still. More on parallax and star movement in a future video. For example, the proper motion of Bernard's star corresponds to a relative lateral speed of 90 kilometers a second to 10.3 seconds of arc it travels annually amounts to a quarter of a degree in a human lifetime, roughly half the angular diameter of a full moon. In layman's terms, Bernard's star, which is about six light years from Earth, appears still and in the same position when looking at it in a short period of time. For the purpose of this video, the stars will be considered still as their apparent movement is too little to notice. The star's movement here will be them circling around a central point due to the Earth's rotation. Circular star trails form when a camera is aimed toward Polaris or towards the South Celestial Pole and the shutter remains open capturing the star's apparent movement. Same concept with lightning photos. Leave the shutter open and any light emitting object will show up in the photo. For example, I took this one minute time exposure capturing numerous lightning bolts. In this example, the shutter is left open for a while. You will notice the star is making a movement around the central area due to the Earth's rotation. This is due to perspective of the observer on a rotating body with a background of relatively still stars. In the northern hemisphere, the stars circle counterclockwise and in the southern hemisphere, they circle clockwise. This photo is consistent with the rotating globe Earth. When looking north, the star's apparent movement will create a counterclockwise circle around its central point. When looking south, the movement will be clockwise around a central point from the perspective of the observer. This effect can only happen when the observer is on a large rotating spherical body. This star trail photo cannot happen on a flat Earth, period. No matter where you are on Earth, star trails will always be circular in shape. This photo is what the star trails would look like near the equator. Note the star trails still circle around a central point. At the equator, the star trails would be elliptical in shape if the Earth was flat. Again, this photo is consistent with a rotating globe Earth. This cannot happen on a flat Earth. This star trail photo taken from Australia is aimed toward the South Celestial Pole would be impossible on a flat Earth. The Southern Celestial Star Trail movement alone destroys the flat Earth concept as they are circling around a central point. Circular concentric star trails can only happen on a flat Earth if the observer was under Polaris at the North Pole, otherwise they would be elliptical in shape anywhere else on Earth. Look at this diagram. Which one matches reality? Up next is a uh, short animation by David Ridlin on how star movements would behave if the Earth was flat. Here is a short video uh, by David Ridlin to show you what the star movement would look like on a flat Earth. As you can see, certain constellations would not be visible and the stars would not circle clockwise around the South Celestial Pole. If the Earth was flat, the star trails would take on an elliptical shape the farther away you move from the North Pole, but we don't see this in reality. The globe wins again, folks. I will be doing a small-scale practical demonstration of both flat Earth and globe Earth star trails in an upcoming video.